Ooh, I missed something here. A magic tab. A couple of them now. Nice. I like it. Hey, what's up, new? Oh yeah, that's right. Balthazar implanted himself into this creature. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. Need a clone? The magician, Nolstein Beckler, could, could, whip one up bleh, could whip one up in the wink of an eye. Beckler loves festivals. Find a festival, and there, too, you shall find Beckler. Ah, yes. So there's one little uh, thing in the game that, uh, for the most part, you can avoid. But if you want to get uh, Chrono back, you do have to to do this. So we're going to go back to 1000 AD. And we're going to go back to the festival. Because everybody likes a festival. Oh, and hey, look, the Black Omen exists here, too. Holy crap. And in some ways that kind of makes sense. Because if this thing is essentially eternal, it, it only makes sense that if it's untouched, uh, or if it's all power, all powerful, and no one's able to do anything about it, it's just going to sit there for the rest of time. So yeah. Time. Uh, I can't land there. Can I land? Let me land! Why won't you let me land? Jeez, what the heck is going on here? There we go. Weird. Okay. So we're gonna save. But, uh, there's... A little mini game you can play in here. And let's see. Let's see more points here. I think it's 15. How many do I have? Let's see. You have 15. Exactly. So essentially, I can just do this once and I'm done, I think. Hopefully, I don't need more than 15. But you can come in here into. Uh, uh, Beckler's lab in um, so it's funny just as I think of this and I always thought of this every time I played this game uh, this guy reminds me of somebody from a really old cartoon back in the 90s um, oh man I, I, I can't the name of the character, for one, uh, escapes me, but the name of the show I knew off the top of my head. Uh, Mr. Something. Um, I can't think of it. But he had this uh, ally, or this little uh, friend of his. This basically was a head... It was kind of like a glass head or something. He was supposed to be like, a, I think, a computer program or something. But he had a glass head, a brain in a jar, and, he had basic, and just like two gloves. And that was it. That was his design. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, I wish I could remember it, but it was like a purple little cre purple creature, like an alien or something, and this guy was his, uh, his uh, sidekick or something. God, I can't, wish I could remember it. It's probably going to come to me at some point, but yeah. That. <laughs> he even laughs at you. What a douche. Welcome to Neunstein Beckler's Lab. The Spine Tingly Show is about to start. So you want a Ted clone. Normally I'd never do this, but today I'll make an exception. Challenge me, and I'll give you a clone. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Take the challenge. It's not my lucky day, I'll take the challenge. You don't have enough points. I don't? You douche! Well, I guess I need more than 15. We can easily rectify this. Gato. Remember him? <laughs> it's been a while. 
we're beefier than we were before. So there's our 15 silver points. And that should be enough. Hmm, for the iPhone? Uh, I imagine that would be a uh, more or less kind of a point and click, or they'd have like controls on the phone or something. I haven't played very many uh, games on the iPhone that require uh, uh, more than just kind of touch controls. Like, I would actually have the uh, gamepad on the screen that you can use. I'm not sure how you would do it on this. Though, in truth, there aren't that many buttons you really need to press. Still. Uh, you can buy this game for anything like PC. Like, this is on, this is specifically is an emulation. Um, but yeah, there's like a whole different... There's like a the original SNES version. There's the PlayStation version on... I want to say it's Final Fantasy Chronicles? I think is where you can get it. Um... It also came out on the DS, and it may even be able, uh, you might even be able to buy it on Steam uh, for PC. But yeah, there's tons of versions of this game that you can get your hands on besides an iPhone, but uh, yeah, I strongly recommend it. If you're a fan of RPGs, this is a fun and deep game that's really worth playing, uh, particularly from its era. I know there are much more deeper games these days, uh, but if you like old school games, it's definitely worth getting. Strongly recommend it. I still don't have any... You douche! How many points do I need? You want to tell me how many I need? Ah, jeez. It's like, you don't have enough points. Okay, well, how many do I need, dude? You want to explain this to me? Ugh. At least you can get up points real easy from this guy. Just a couple of quick fights and that's it. I'll do one more fight after this, just to make sure I have enough. I can't believe it would be like more... It would be 60 points or something like that. It might even be 90. God, I hope not. But, uh... Yeah, in that tent... Uh, you require a clone of Chrono by doing this little mini-game. Uh, once you've done that... You can essentially, uh, uh, like kind of at any point during the game before you actually beat the game, you can go back in that tent and do that mini game over, but you can do it with other characters. So like for right now, I'm going in uh, with uh, Drizzt here at the head of the party. Um, and I'm basically going to try and get the, the Chrono Clone. But uh, if I came back with this character, or I had somebody else in the lead, like, say, uh, HK here or Aisha, um, and I did the same minigame, uh, basically, I, and if I succeeded, I would get a clone of that character. And they would basi the clone would basically be set um, in, you know, the, essentially their kind of home what it would be. So for in the case of uh, Asia, it would be in her tent in 65 million BC. In the case of uh, HK here, um, I want to say it would be in the uh, the dome that you found him in. as where it would be. And you could like activate the clone and kind of mess with it, and it would basically do a bunch of different uh, uh, exclamation like and uh, blah. <laughs> animations, um, like it would laugh, or it would do a surprise uh, animation or emote or something like that. So it's pretty cool. It's a fun little thing. You don't have to do, but it's something they didn't even have to add in the game, but it's kind of a fun thing if you really want to do everything you can possibly do in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me... There we go. All right. So it's basically a mimic game. 
as it says here. So you got L, which is basically the L trigger. R is the right tr uh, trigger. And keep in mind, this is an old Super Nintendo controller, as it's supposed to be. I'm playing on a, a Logitech PlayStation 2-like com controller here. So it'd basically be the L1 and R1 buttons. And then uh, Y and A, which are uh, numbers uh, square and X, I believe, are laugh and surprise. So left arm, right arm, laugh and surprise. And it just goes and goes. And you try to keep up with it. Start when you hear the signal. And action. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, no, I got it right. Oh, that button. There we go. Okay. So I gotta be quicker here. It speeds up. Just do exactly what it does. As if you're mirroring, mirroring it. And now here's where the hard part comes. Almost missed that. And hey, we got it! Cool! Woo! So the nice thing about that, since it's kind of required in order to get uh, Chrono back, you actually don't have to win that. So long as you can actually do the challenge, uh, you can succeed. Yeah, you'll get it no matter what, for the most part. So I'm going to do a quick switch here. Uh, nope. Oh. Hey, it's Kitty again. Oh, hello. Is Ted okay? Uh, he's okay. Fine, actually. I hope he's behaving. Tell him to be a good, alright? Listen, um... Yes, dear? We'll just borrow this doll, okay? Go right ahead, dear. And then we get the Colonel clone. Stay out of trouble now. Yes, Mom. Yeah, Kitty's everywhere. Come on, Kitty. Come on. Go, cr go nuts. You know you want to do it. Come on. Ah, he's not going to do it. Ah. Clip through the wall. You have the power, kitty. Do it. I swear, I want to get him to do this at some point. <laughs> I want him to clip through the wall. <laughs> yeah. I will repeat this, this glitch. I know I will. Someday. And I will capture it on footage, and it will be epic. Alright, so we'll switch that up. Back to the party we intended to use. And now, back to 2300. But yeah, um, so you can fail that little mission, and essentially all that happens is, depending on how far you got uh, through that little challenge, you'll, get, you'll just basically get charged uh, a number of, uh, of money. Uh, G, yes, in this case. So, we don't really need to save. Go back to the dome. And there are other things you can get, too. I believe you can get a little, uh, what it's called, a, uh, Poyoyo doll. Or Poyo doll, I think it's Poyoyo. Or Papoyo. Something like that. You might have seen it before, it's this little, uh... No, have you seen it before? I don't think so. Actually, we are going to kind of see them. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. Yeah, yeah, we, we did this already, dude. Enough! The 
time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It's the only chance you have for reviving your friend. The last program I've implanted in this creature's memory banks will ha help you up the mountain. Stand back! But yeah, you get like uh, little guys like these to decorate uh, a character's room. I think that aside from the clone and that, I think is really it. You can also get some cat food, which uh, you can feed to your kitty. But I don't think that really does anything, ultimately. I'm not sure if it actually affects an ending. And yes, uh, something to keep in mind about this game. There are multiple endings based upon things that you do once you've reached this point in the game. Like, like I said, I could just go take on Black Omen, or I could go fight Lavos right here and now, and not even bother to pick up Ted. And that'll give me a different ending, compared to if I save Ted, then go fight Lavos. Or I can do a whole bunch of side quests, and depending on each one I do, determines uh, different stuff that happens. Uh, different endings, essentially. There's like about a dozen endings you can get in this game, it's pretty crazy. The three entities you saw will help you climb Death Peak. This ends my message. Now I must ask you for a favor. This creature has executed its program. Please let him sleep. The switch is on his stomach. Yes. This creature sleeps beyond the flow of time. Bye bye, little new. It's kind of sad when you think about it. Just sleep forever. Stream's over? No, not yet. We're still going. Because <laughs> we got to climb Death Peak. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that. Eh, it shouldn't take too long. Maybe about another hour. And I think that's probably a good time to cut it. Don't want to go too late. All right. Look at that, Aisha dancing again. HK powering down, and of course Drizzt just looking cool. Let's do this. Death Peak. Walk when the wind dies, and hide behind trees when it blows. So yeah, so there is a trick to this little area here. And I might... No? Yep. Okay, we're good. So essentially, you're not really given an opportunity to actually tackle this place uh, before this point. Because that wind howling right there prevents you from being able to go anywhere. Essentially, you didn't see it, but basically when the wind blows, uh, it just shoots you back to the beginning. And yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Without those trees there, which uh, the little, little doll uh, leaves there for you, uh, you can't get to this point. Which is kind of important, because these guys are pretty difficult. Oh, look, we're getting eaten by a cracker. In Chrono Trigger, Cracker eats you. <laughs> yeah, I was thought Magus was pretty cool. I think ultimately Toad, or sorry, Frog became my favorite overall. I got a magic ring. And actually, uh, how important is status right now? Not really a big deal, actually. So let's just get him. Power? You know what? Power ring, magic ring, hit ring. Yeah, she doesn't need that. Let me give her the other magic ring. Yeah. And we'll just give him the magic scarf. Scarf? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we got that. Dead end. Climbing up these icicles. Uh, can't go that way. Just got more of these little guys. Let's fight them. Yeehaw. I like that. Everyone's got a great critical hit. 
Especially the melee characters. Those always look so significant. Kind of like the the uh, blah, blah, blah. can't think of it <laughs> the uh, snow falling uh, effect they got going on. It's pretty cool. Well, hello here. What do you know? There are too many of you, so I'm just gonna nuke all of you. Pardon me. Oi, oi, oi. Alright. Uh, nothing special here. Gonna add down here. A save point. I believe it's a chest here, yes. A wall ring. I believe that works similar to the safe helm, but in reverse where it's gives you... Oh no, just magic defense plus 10. That's it. I thought it might give you a... a uh, what's it called? One of these characters has it. I know it. I think Tasha has it. Oh uh, no, she has protect. Somebody has it. Who has it? <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, that's right. He's gonna get it. It's uh, basically the equivalent of protect, uh, but in magic form. Where protect uh, cuts physical damage down to one third of what it normally would be. His, the one he's gonna get, would cut magic damage down to one third. That's what I was thinking of. But no, it doesn't do that. Which is fine. All right, so. Probably doesn't matter that we fight these guys here. Because I think even if we kind of reset, it wouldn't really matter. Now eh, we're just going to attack them. Why not? Yeah, I think if somehow we reset and came back to the spot after saving at that uh, save point there, these guys would still come back. I just think every time you leave areas like this and come back, the enemies just respawn. Which isn't a bad thing. If you want to grind for uh, HP, or I mean for experience and tech points, you're more than welcome to do that. You should be allowed to. But it can be a little tedious at times. Uh, we are at here. Um, so let's see here. Uh, actually, we should probably... Where are you at? Because I want... Actually, I want to keep Magus in here. I want him to learn tech. But having Isha might not be the best idea. 42... 98. Somehow it doesn't take him a whole lot... Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say, okay, I earned area bomb, learned area bomb this at the start of this session, and shock is like that far down. And I think it took like 900 or so to get to this point. But no, I mean, then again, I did all that grinding for all that 100 point tech. Uh, so yeah, um, let's see here. Who's? I think I want to keep HK. What do we got? Uh, aura beam, ice tackle, cure touch. Fire Punch, Fire Tackle, bl uh, oh no, it didn't learn, hmm, I think that'll come up with, uh, Area Bomb, and I think Tasha's best one, but then we got Blade Toss, Bubble Snap, and we got Boogie, Spin Kick, Beast Toss, I don't think we can do that against what's coming up, hmm, what would be the best team to go with here? I kind of think in these two. Hmm. It's almost pointless to have him in this party. 
Because there isn't much he can really do. Uh, or at least what's coming up. But I'm going to keep him, and I'm going to go with... Uh, what do I want to do here? I don't want to give him that. I don't want to give him that. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the Black Rock. I almost forgot about that. Uh, he can use it. I don't think she can use it. Nope. Nope. Yep. So you remember back a few... two sessions ago, I think? Uh, we acquired a black rock. Essentially, you're gonna find a few of these rocks throughout the game, and what they do is allow... Uh, certain characters that wouldn't normally be allowed to do triple text to be able to do triple text, and they do a specific one. Uh, so in this case, with uh, Tasha, Jesse, and Drizzt, the three of them can combine to do the triple tech Dark Eternal. Of course, it's going to require him to have uh, certain spells in order to do that, and I believe it's in order to do that, it's going to require his best uh, tech. Which is going to be a while before we get that one. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not sure who to bring here. Man. I guess there'll be plenty of opportunities to learn tech, but... Can we get these two over with? Which I can. Alright. I know what I'm going to do. Let's go with this setup. Uh, and I want to give give you that. Oh, and the time hat. Give you that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this off. I'll give you that. We will give you this, and you're going to get this. Alright, there you are. Alright. So we're going to do it this way. Uh, nope. Alright. And we'll save. Let's do this.